Hi. This is Artifacts of Mars. Apparently the article from National Review hit a nerve because the city of Dubuque is going ballistic on uh, Kurtz. City of Dubuque says an article claiming Dubuque is turning into a satellite city of Chicago and does not represent what's really going on in Dubuque. That is BS. That is bullshit. The article appears in the National Review and is titled How Obama Stole Dubuque. And it's getting a lot of attention online. Sorry about that, they're driving me nuts with their pop ups. They gotta stay away from double lines. It claims federal government under the U.S. Department of HUD, Housing and Urban Development, HUD took control of Dubuque. HUD provides vultures to help people in need with their rent. National Review article says that HUD's agreement in 2014 was sought to provide a solution to Chicago's lack of housing for low-income African Americans. TV9 checked the numbers on they're talking about uh, the race thing. Chicago's went, got 40%. Their vouchers are race blacks and opposed to 34% uh, of voucher holders in Dubuque. Uh, I'd have to look at the demographics on that to see if that makes a difference. So I'm really not interested. So he says, Kurtz's article is filled with political opinions and inaccuracies in a statement from TV9 Dubuque City Manager Mike Van Milligan said, this is a political commentary blog entry. It represents the opinion of the author, a partisan political commentator. Well, no fooling. The vast majority of the blog entry is author's views on national issues while the city will not respond to the author's opinions there are many inaccuracies in the blog entry. In other words, Mr. Uh, Van Milligan, you uh, are hiding from this. Kurtz responded to TV9 for his thoughts on the city's claims of inaccuracies. Without an itemized list, the city's charge lacks all credibility. Yeah, I would agree. City officials must now be in fear of alienating the federal government, which increasingly controls Dubuque. Well, it's obvious they uh, refuse to provide any specifics. That's the way it goes with liberalism. Liberalism is a mental disorder. Oh, well. Wait all it starts happening to your city. I suppose it's not as bad as uh, importing uh, millions of Syrians. That's going to hurt us far more. And these are our own citizens, after all. If we just teach people uh, about wealth creation instead of wealth distribution, we'd uh, be able to do something here. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching. This has been a Tyranny Watch News update.